Wendy Faircloth from Villa La Paz with this month's training tip. We're going to be doing a series of tips for tricks. So we're going to be doing a series of four and this is going to be our first installment of the tricks tips. Today what we're going to be working on is we're going to teach our dogs to sit up. Uh, sit up is a fairly easy thing to teach a dog. Um, one of the things we have to be cautious of is doing too many repetitions of sit up. Doing too many repetitions of sit up would be like us overdoing our sit ups because it actually works their stomach muscles which they don't often use. So we have to be careful about how many repetitions that we do. Um, I actually teach all of my dogs to sit up for that very reason. It's, it's a cute little trick to teach them. And also it does, it works their core muscles. And if their core is stronger, everything else is stronger. So I'm going to teach you today how to get your dog to sit up. And this is my dog Secret. And Secret already knows how to sit up. But I'm going to show you how I taught her how to sit up and also how to possibly get a little bit of distance with, with them. So we always want to use treats when we're teaching them, when we're teaching them tricks because it gives them the motivation to do it. So we're going to get her into a sit. And what I like to do is go to their nose and then go straight up from there. Okay, so I take my treat, I go to her nose, and then I go straight up from there. So often people make the mistake of putting the treat way up here, and what that does, free reader, free, free, get up, yes. What that does is that gets the dog stretching out and trying to get the treat that way. Um, it's much easier for them to stand on their hind legs than it is to sit up. So the next thing is don't teach them to stand up first. You want to teach them to sit up before you teach them to stand up. Okay, so get them into a sit, go to their nose, and then have them sit up. And this, what she's doing right now, is a very common thing that they do at first. And in, in the beginning, I allow them to use their paws to balance themselves. Um, but I don't let them do that for very long. Because if I let them do that for a long period of time, that's what they think that they need to do. Okay, so I'm not going to allow her to do that this time. I'm going to go up. Good. She's going to balance herself. Good. And I'm going to give her the treat. Next thing, <clears throat> excuse me, if I want to get a little bit of distance, I'm going to use the same technique, get her to sit up. Good. And then I take, did you see, I just took the treat about three inches away from her nose <clears throat> to get a little bit of distance. Good. And then I can slowly increase the distance that I get away from her. Good. Good. So again, back to the beginning. <clears throat> I'm going to go to their nose and then go straight up from there and they're going to sit up. Don't start here because they're going to try to reach up and grab the treat and we don't want them to reach up. Go to their nose and, and straight up from there. So that is our training tip of the month. The trick tip of the month is teaching our dogs to sit up. I want to remind you of four key things that you need to remember when teaching your dog to sit up. First thing to remember is don't do too many repetitions because too many repetitions is going to hurt their stomach muscles and then they're not going to want to do it. The second thing is don't, have, don't put the treat too far above their head where they have to try to stand up for it because again it's much easier to stand up for it than it is to sit up for it. The third thing is don't let them hang on to your hand for very long once you get them to sit up. In the beginning, like I said, it's a good thing to do um, to have them gain balance. 
uh, but don't do that for too many repetitions. And the fourth thing is just give them time to build up those stomach muscles before you expect any duration on your sit-up. And stay tuned for the next three training tips of the month.